Hey guys, so this is part three of the uh, Chipotle inspired meal. Um, I love pico de gallo. And one of the things that we always get on our burritos or the bowl at Chipotle, it's the pico de gallo. But this is my version of the pico de gallo that I like to put um, to finish off my meal. Remember, we got the lime rice already. It's done. We have our protein, which is your meat with all the bell peppers in it super delish and it's done next time i'm gonna put something on my eyes anywho um and now we're gonna make the pico de gallo so it's the topping pico de gallo just makes it go to a whole nother level and i absolutely love it and it's fat free so you can eat a lot all right so the ingredients again this is my version my way hopefully you like it if not omit whatever you don't like or add whatever you want to it all right so First things first, I need my beautiful bowl. I need my strainer ready. And yes, it's burnt and I'm not throwing it away. I like it and that's the way it's gonna be or stay. All right, we're gonna need um, some uh, queso fresco, la morenita or cacique, whatever kind. It's cheaper that day or they have on sale. Goya black beans, I know. You're gonna say really, really? Yes, guys. Like I always say on my videos, you work, I work. Sometimes time is not my best friend, it's not on my side. So I do use very often and seldom, okay, do I use canned stuff. I prefer to use uh, in a jar or frozen veggies, but my number one go-to thing, it's fresh stuff. Not every once in a while, ain't gonna hurt you, trust me, trust me. All right, so. We're gonna get some nopalitos. This is my twist to the pico de gallo. I add nopalitos and obviously the cheese. I'm gonna make two jars of nopalitos because I'm gonna make a lot, just because. Some um, diced up onions already. My little garlic. One, only this time, okay? And a tomato and a lime. Now, the, tom the tomato, the tomato, make sure it's heirloom. I'm just kidding. Just get your Roma tomatoes, but make sure it's the hard one so it's not so, um, um, what do you call it, ripe? Because we want the uh, vinegar from the Goya beans and the lime not to overcook it because there's nothing more disgusting than a smushed tomato. All right, guys, so I have my good old um, cheese board which I like to call my cutting board. My daughter gave it to me for, I think it was Mother's Day one year. I said, I really want a big board to cut all my stuff. And she went and got me a cheese board. It's just so that I can use it, love it. All right, so we're gonna crush our garlic. And this time, guys, we do wanna mince it super, 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 super fine because it's gonna go raw in there. All right. Although I wouldn't mind to get a piece of it so good. I'm gonna put it in there. We are going to put our cilantro and our onion already diced up and ready. All right. And we're gonna add the juice of one lime. If you don't like sour stuff, just put half of it. But I, I do. Now for this recipe, guys, I'm not gonna use any nor or salt. Just because the stuff that's already in a in a can or in a jar has enough salt. All right. Yum. I need to buy me a lemon squeezer. Lemon squeezer. All right. There you go. And we're gonna dice up our tomatoes. Again, guys, super easy. My recipes are super, super easy. If you're in a rush, this will take you literally no time. You can eat this with pollito. If you wanna go get some fried chicken, this will offset the friedness. <laughs> no, it won't, it really won't. But anyway, you know, balance. Get some fried chicken and get your pico de gallo. Snack, chips, done. Have a party. You know, I'm Mexican, we wanna have a party for everything. You guys, I made a YouTube video. Let's have a party. Oh, Domia's gonna be like, with seven subscribers, grandma, really? 
<laughs> she's so cute one of these is i'm gonna upload a video of her and of Livy. they get me they so get me all right so here's all of our dice stuff remember no salt all right guys a trick to open these things up. I can. Then I have this thing here. It's like a ganglion cyst. Ganglion, ganglion, whatever. Some cyst that sometimes makes my hand hurt a little bit. But I'm not going to the doctor. I'm not getting this thing out. I'm not. It ain't, it's not bad. All right, so in order for you to open this with the least force possible, you're going to grab it and you're going to smash it. Don't smash so hard, okay? You're going to smash Kind of tap around and then literally comes off. I promise you. I okay, I don't have muscles. Comes off for real. And then um, I have my strainer here with the other um, no palitos already in there. And we're gonna add them in, all of them. Get out of there. Get out of me. Get out of me. And we are going to rinse them. Okay. We really want to take most of the salt that's in there out of it. See that? All right, guys. So our nopalitos are already rinsed. And we're going to put them here on our cutting board in a second. But I'm going to put these babies in the dishwasher. Can take the paper off. Oh well, we'll take it later. All right. So we're gonna wash those because that's your Mexican mason jars. You are so welcome. <laughs> For reals, these are some real good salsa keepers. Um, caldo. Hey, you wanna take some caldo to your friend that's been sick? Here you go, ma'am. Do return me my mason jar because I will ask for it. <laughs> oh, this is your Mexican mason jars. Put it in there. Get it out of the way. And so what you're gonna do is literally just dice up your nopalitos. Okay, I already washed them, rinsed them really well. So most of the vinegary flavor is out. And nopalito is a cactus. So it it's already sour. Alright? And fresh, guys, nothing beats a fresh nopalito in red salsa, yummo. But, again, I ain't got no time. And you have to like cook them a while and add this and add that. And you know what? I just want something fresh and fast sometimes. So it is what it is. I like Goya. One time I bought um, another brand, which I actually like more in a lot of other stuff, La Costeña. And the skin was so hard. It was disgusting. Like I literally had to throw them all away. All right. And if there's one that's kind of hard, you'll touch it right away. Get it out. You don't want any hard stuff. And this is kind of like vibrant greenish. That's really not. It's more like an olive greenish. Okay. And everything's gonna be just kind of chunky. Again, this is uh, my version of the pico de gallo. And um, I'm gonna tell you something, guys. You put this with some chips, and that is the best, I guess, dip or pico de gallo that you guys will ever, ever have. If you don't like the napalitos, omit them, okay? Just your regular pico de gallo. All right? So now I'm gonna grab my, yes, I'm in the skin. No, I'm not in the sink. I have the stuff inside of the sink. And my wood board is on top of one of the part of the sink. So for the Goya beans, all right, open them up and I'm gonna rinse them as well in your little strainer. This will get rid of the extra uh, sodium that it has in there. And still, you don't need any salt because it already has enough. Put your, your container 
wash it, rinse it, put it in the recycling bin. Let's save the earth. One can at a time, baby. So you might be asking yourself, um, if you make everything homemade, can you like boil them and make your own? Yes, I can. Now going to, I'm gonna tell you something about a cup. Sorry. Mm, already salty, already good. Sometimes I'm just in a hurry. I'm starving. And so this recipe came about that. Well, well I actually started with spending a lot of money in Chipotle. I'm not rich. God made me beautiful, but he sure as heck didn't make me rich. Why, 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 Lord, why? <laughs> why? All right, so now I have incorporated here. Let me get a spoon. Our tomato. Okay. The lime juice. The uh, cilantro. Move the thing. And then I'm going to add all of my nopalitos. Guys, I kid you not. This is foolproof. Like, if you're like, I'm not good at cooking. This ain't cooking, man. This is chopping stuff up. You're good at destroying things, right? Because your mom was like, I'm not easy. Mira lo que vas a hacer. All right. My son's here. He's in his room. He's probably laughing about me. Seven subscribers. <laughs> really, mom. Quit. I ain't going to quit. Shoot. I pay the, the, the Wi-Fi. I pay the internet. So why am I going to quit? No, ma'am. No, sir. All right. So this is kind of like pretty much done. My final touch, my loves. See that, Juicy? Look at that. Look at that, guys. So good. Ooh. Get over here. Okay. My final touch to this. My queso fresco. Now, if you want to just go ahead and open it up and serve it in slices, perfect. I like for it to be aware. I want our thing to be making love to each other. So, yeah, that's what I said. So I'm gonna open up my cheese. I'm just gonna use half of it. And yes, guys, my hands are clean. Little towel on this side. That is something. Okay. Alright, so here's my mixture. And I'm just gonna crumble up the cheese. And it's like Mexican Christmas. Ooh, snow. Ooh, yum. Snow. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, Nopalitos. Feliz Navidad. Y Prospero Año Nuevo. <laughs> Christmas in my pico de gallo. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. All right. So let me mix it. You see? Okay, love, so here is the pico de gallo. Nopalitos pico de gallo. For all my vegetarian followers, my seven vegetarian or maybe one of the seven um, subscribers. <laughs> all right, so what you don't want to do, guys, is super, super mix because then you're going to smush everything, okay? And I still want to see crumbles of the cheese, uh, crumbles of, I mean, my beans intact. You see that goodness yes beautiful now if you don't like queso fresco you can always use the feta feta is better but my people don't really like feta they don't have a an acquired palate for the good stuff in life all right guys 
so that's it this is the chipotle inspired meal third video and um provecho that's it guys see you later